Fans excited to experience the end of the second trilogy in the Gears of War series may have to hold their expectations because according to the developer itself, the Coalition won't be announcing any new games in the near future. Formed back in 2010, the studio known then as Zipline Studios started live making social games for Facebook before quickly moving to Microsoft Flight. Eventually the developer was given the reins to the Gears of War franchise, with them putting out an up version of the first game. Then they made Gears of War 4, which proved they understood the series, before putting out the enormous Gears 5, changing the title of the beloved games and stamping their own ideas onto it. But that was back in 2019, and two years on, while Gears 5 has had plenty of support and while the Coalition was a part of the Gears Tactic development team as well, the studio has been pretty quiet, and according to the developer itself, that's exactly how things are going to stay for the near future. Gears 5 is going to be supported with Operations 7 and 8, which will include new characters, maps and special events. This is pretty much all we're going to see through the rest of the year from the Coalition, aside from featured playlists and a few other updates. The team are shifting to Unreal Engine 5 and say it's a big undertaking and it means they will not be announcing any new projects or titles for some time. The developer is hiring for roles such as senior gameplay engineers, AI engineer, senior concept artist, lead cinematic animator and, interestingly, an external development manager suggesting there are multiple games in development at the studio right now and that they're staffing up for a next-gen push. There have been rumours that the team is working on a Star Wars game, though obviously nothing is ready to be announced yet, but it's also definite that Gears 6 is in production at some stage, such as the ending of the fifth game in the series, and apparently they're also helping with Halo Infinite as well. So for more on all things gaming and for what's new and what's next, head to NME.com.